Welcome to Cast Iron and Canning Jars. I'm Mammy. And I'm Chelsea. And we're going to show you some really good recipes today. Let me give you the weather report out here. About well, to melt. <laughs> Chelsea summed it all up. It's about to rain. <laughs> now, it is really, really muggy out there. But the wind's blowing, so I, we've got a, like a little breezeway between mine and Aunt Joyce's house. And it is just as cool as it can be with that wind blowing out there. But, you know, it is what it is, and we need the rain. I, I don't know about you all, but my little garden, it's just sitting out there. I'm not able, the weeds are growing faster Say, than it I'm is. thirsty. That's right. <laughs> it's saying it's thirsty. <laughs> now, today we're going to be making, Chelsea? A corn dip. A corn and dip. What are you making? And a strawberry dessert. I don't know if it has a technical name or not. But strawberry shortcake dessert. Strawberry shortcake dessert, but it's shortcut. made a little bit, mm -hmm. a little bit different. Yeah, shortcut. That's mm -hmm. it, Chelsea. So we're going to go ahead and get started. But we have a special guest today. You know, I and she does a chicken out. Chelsea and I believe in <laughs> letting little kids start out early to do, you know, the, their cooking. Also, well, Madison is here with us today, and she's going to make some of her ice cream special. So she likes to make a lot of recipes. She likes to make up lots of recipes, which, you know, we're really pleased about. At least she's taken, taking interest in cooking, so we're really excited about that. So, Chelsea, you ready started? to get going? Yep. Sure. Make sure that you guys share. Let us know where you're from, and I don't know what Jolene's chewing on right now, but I don't think it, she should be. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> so, make sure you guys share. Let us know where you're from, and um, I'll go ahead and get started. Okay. You want to see what she's got, Mammy? <laughs> yeah, I will. Jolene is nibbling on something in the family room. What do you got, girl? Oh, All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started on my corn dip here. So I got my bowl. Ooh, try not to move you. I'm sorry, guys. All right. So I've got my bowl here. I'm going to add one cup of mayo. You know I got to use the scrapers. Got one cup of sour cream. Mm -hmm. And we'll go ahead and mix this all up. Now that was sour cream and, and mayo. And mayo. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, here go those hearts, Chelsea. <laughs> then I've got so a can of diced jalapeno peppers, and this is a four ounce can. I drained it. You can save the juice and put some for flavor, but I usually don't. And then I've got a seven ounce can of diced green chili peppers. I drained it as well. Boy, they look a lot alike, don't they? They do. One spicier than the other. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just mix this in. This will kind of help. Um, the juices will come out of those peppers and kind of help the sauce to come together. I'm gonna take these over and the dip to come together and then I've got three cans of the fiesta style corn and it's got the peppers and onion or peppers I don't think it has onions yep red and green bell peppers and then I've got three cans of that oh try not to make a mess while I'm doing it we've got easy ones these are ones that you can make and take to your fourth of July picnics yeah because we only have like a week and a day until and then I've got about a half a cup of green onion. I went out and got this out of uh, the garden out there. I said, Mammy, you got any green onion? <laughs> yep, I did. <laughs> I'm just gonna give this a little stir. I think I might add a little salt and pepper to it too. Is that like Kroger's? Kroger's corn dip? I don't know. I've never had their corn dip before, so I'm not sure. It's really good. I eat it with um, just the corn chip dippers. There you go, Mammy. You're welcome. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper to this. I don't know if I showed you this, but this helps you to get it out so that it comes out better. But, yep. See? Just rub the bottom of it. Go. 
I'm gonna give that a stir. And that is easy peasy lemon squeezy. That is as easy as it gets. I serve yeah. this, you, you refrigerate it until serving or you can go ahead and eat it. But I just serve it with these um, corn chips, the cups, and it is delicious. It's got a little kick to it because of the jalapeno. So if you wanna leave that out, you're more than welcome to. And the longer it sits, it gets even more spicy. Oh my goodness. It's delicious. Mammy's over here struggling over here. No. Oh wait, no, I forgot the cheese. What am I doing? There you go. Y'all, I forgot the cheese. I'm sitting here and it's sitting right there and you guys didn't even tell me. <laughs> what would I say? Chelsea, what's that cheese for? <laughs> uh, so I also add a cup of shredded cheese to this. This is the double cheddar we used last week. So I'm assuming it's just yellow cheddar and white cheddar. But you just put about a cup of it in there. Just make sure it's all mixed in there. And it's delicious. I know that was a quick one for me, isn't it, guys? And Mammy's over here getting her stuff ready. I am working. <laughs> I'm working. Let me get my corn out of the way that I dropped. She, she dropped a kernel or two of corn. Okay, Miss Chelsea. I'm going to go ahead and bring that over here. Let me get a... Let me get... make sure that they can see what you're doing. Okay. Yep, they can. Let me wipe the countertop off here. Now, as Chelsea said, these are two dishes that are real easy to make and good ones to take to a picnic also. So I'm going to start out with my uh, pan that I love so good. I use it every chance I get. And we're going to use uh, Hostess Twinkies. Now, didn't Dolly Madison have a Twinkie like uh cake as well. I don't know. Or who is it? Little Debbie. That. Little Debbie. I was like, who's Dolly Madison? <laughs> <laughs> Do you all know who Dolly Madison is? Chelsea doesn't know. Dolly she Madison. Have cake? Yeah, she has a whole bakery. Yeah, of, of cakes and and stuff like that. Lord, you are young, aren't you? I'm going to take these out of the bag and I'm going to put them, lay them down in the, um, the pan because that's going to serve as my my cake in this, which it is cake, but it's going to serve as, as my little cakes. And I'm going to put them right down in here, side by side. Chelsea, you want to cut these? What time I... Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm <laughs> hey, I got to give her something to do. She's just looking too comfortable there. There we go. Just too cut me a few of them and start them too over. Too comfortable chewing up my uh, corn dip. Wait a minute. This ain't going to work unless you get... You got you to gotta cut me down a side here. See, this is, this is what we call working together, guys. Because Chelsea, Chelsea just works right along with me. And keeps me straight. Mm -hmm. Boy, you're fast, girl. You now, know. you know, this ought to be easier. They kind of stick to the package. They do. <laughs> I like, I like. You Thank you. You are so helpful. Now, will this hold two packages, Chelsea? Um, if it's done, I'll help you out with it. It'll, it'll, it'll probably won't hold both packages, but it'll hold most. Do you hear what Bonnie said? She said, if it doesn't, she'll help us out with the Twinkies. She'll, she'll help us eat what's left. There you go. Yeah. This is a two-man job, and I didn't realize that. Boy, oh boy. We didn't open them before because we didn't want them to dry out. Yeah. That's because we talked about that and we decided they might dry out if we opened them too soon. So you just continue to put them, you know, in the uh, package or in the pan side by side. Now, I was tickled to death when I found out that Chelsea and Bonnie know how to make Hostess cupcakes or real close to Hostess cupcakes. They just make the chocolate cupcakes and then they fill it with the white creamy filling. And I'm telling you, there's not that much difference to me. Of course, I'm not real picky, but they, they taste a lot like the uh, chocolate cupcakes. So I imagine you could do, uh, is this like an angel cake that. or a sponge cake, Chelsea? I think it's more like a sponge cake. A sponge cake? Oh, yeah. I imagine you could do it, do the same it thing is. with this. It says golden sponge cake. There you go. See there? You could probably do the same thing. Okay. There we go. We've got them all in there. Take that. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Boy, she does a good job cleaning up for me, don't and she? And I don't know if you're going to need both of those 
okay. glazes. So I'm going to put one glaze on, and I'm a spoon person, so I won't be using the spatula. I'm the old timey spoon person. Chelsea, um, our dream whip. Mm -hmm. Did you whip up our dream whip we right. talked about why last you, week? Why don't you tell them about that? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Uh, well, <laughs> Chelsea didn't know what Dream Whip was. She had never heard of it before. But no, I heard of it, but I thought that it was old-fashioned. <laughs> like she you, thought it was like old-fashioned, but you guys, a lot of you knew uh, what it was last week when we were talking about it. And don't you know that Bonnie and Chelsea ran upon some? More than some. She got a whole case. Well, actually, <laughs> she, Bonnie found it and got a whole case of it, so... We'll be dream whipping about everything until we get it used up. It was a commercial, you know, for, for kitchens, commercial kitchens. And Bonnie got it while she saw it. Now Chelsea knows what it is. And they whipped some up to go on this. So we'll have plenty on that. Now I'm going to got one, one uh, container over the first set. And then I'm going to put the second container over the... The other set. Mammy, do you want to save these containers? Are they nice? Yes, I do. All yes, right. I do. Hey, now, this that, is that is my Tupperware, guys, because I cannot make, it doesn't make sense to me to throw this stuff away. It works fine. And then go out and buy something. You just can use this stuff. Although, I want to tell you, when I was young, and my mamma and my uh, granny used to save every one of these. Now, Mamma didn't have that many of these kind of cups because we didn't have the luxury of this kind of stuff growing up. Mamma, we got you know, 672 people We had to, do we, we had to uh, make it homemade. But now Granny would get store-bought stuff a lot of times, and she saved every one of these containers so that she had them to, you know, store stuff in or to put leftovers in or whatever. Well, don't you know, here I am, I doing the up. same thing. But I stand in the fridge. Is this really sour cream? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't always remember to uh, put the label on it either. So is they, this sour cream or butter? Yep. <laughs> so they stand there and wonder what it well, is that I've, <laughs> what I've got. Okay, Chelsea, I'm going to get my strawberries. And we'll put a layer, some strawberries on next. And these felt pretty good. I didn't taste a one. Bonnie said, did you taste a one? I said, no. They were on, they're on sale at Kroger, y'all. Are they on sale? Mm-hmm. The big pack for $2.59. Oh, my goodness. You know what? $2.47, my bad. $2.47, Bonnie said. Now, she, she's a money watcher, too. Now, I'm just going to put them on here, just loose around. I want to tell y'all something. They had blackberries on sale, and you know I'm fussing about them not being real blackberries, being, you know, uh tame berries so i'm fussing around telling bonnie no i don't want any when they asked me if i wanted her to get me some don't you know i went out to the freezer and got me a package i got hungry for blackberry dumplings made it and it was the last pack i had now i tell you i had to eat crow because i wanted to uh, somebody said i took butter for lunch to work one time cured me of saving those tubs <laughs> <laughs> hey that would be a good one there <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that's a good one. Anyway, when berries come back on sale, I'm going to have, have them get me some. Cause I'm... Um, the glaze is actually, someone asked where the glaze is from. Mm -hmm. um, it's a strawberry glaze um, like that you would put on strawberries. And it's usually found in the produce section, like where you would find like caramel dip huh? and stuff. It's usually over there. So far, Chelsea... So looking pretty good. Well, I'll just have to bury that one there. I can't get it out. <laughs> so I'll get it there. Oh, well. About five minutes. Well, they're telling me I'm slow, folks. No. I'm just, I'm just a little bit slower than I used to be. I try to keep up. The old gray mare just ain't what she Yeah, right. Do you hear what Bonnie said, folks? She said the old gray mare just ain't what she used to be. I can't even get turned gray all by myself yet. I'm trying. Mimi, how'd you hurt your hand? Someone wants to know. Oh, well, actually, Jolene did it. 
She didn't mean to. It was an if accident. If you want <laughs> to know the truth, Jolene did it, and I usually keep it covered. I just forgot it. I am sorry. But um, sometimes I just get, you know, take it off to let it air, and then I forgot to put it. Cody said he's on, on his way. Okay. He's coming right. on the show. How's it looking <laughs> here, guys? Have I got it pretty well covered? Think you get a strawberry in every bite? There, that looks pretty good. Well, Publix has their strawberries for 99 cents for a 16 ounce package. Who does? Publix. I wish we had a Publix. Yeah. I am just gonna say I hadn't heard of that one before. All right, there we go. Now, next I'm gonna take that dream whip that Chelsea hadn't dreamed about mm -hmm. and put it <laughs> and put it on top. And it's just it's just pretty, you know. Rather than buying the cool whip. What do you mix to mix this, Chelsea? I didn't do it, Mom did. Cold water. Cold water. Just cold water? Mm-hmm. Well Lordy mercy. Now that, that's right. I'm telling you. Just add your cold water to it and mix it up. Whip it right up there. Okay. There we go. Almost like like uh, icing a cake. My mamma used to beat her uh, icing with a fork. She didn't have a mixer. So she'd just beat it in the bowl with a fork. Lord, I, I know she had to get tired, but now it turned out to be a nice, nice icing on that cake. I remember that. I've never, I've never made it. I guess I just got too used to the convenience of, of having it. Now I make um, icing to decorate cakes with, but um, not for, you know, just, just a, I think, I don't know if it's called a seven minute uh, frosting or icing, I'm not sure. But I know there's one like that that's cooked, I believe. Now, let me see here. There we go. Here, put just a little dab more. I'll put it right in that area there. And where'd my strawberries go, Chelsea? You wanna decorate the top? Just a little, little bit. Look little at you. Bit. I Being know. all fancy. I tell you, you gotta look really good here. If you're gonna do it, right? If I get the right pointed edges on it, I can bring it around here a little bit. Look at her. Can you tell she used to be a cake decorator, y'all? Used to be. Well, what happened to me? Um, you got a little old. Chelsea, <laughs> I did try to make one. I know After your surgery. Remember that time? Yeah, you I did. Tried to show me how to squeeze a piping bag? Yeah, I, I did. When, after I had surgery, I wanted to show Chelsea how to, how to do the pressure on the bag and stuff, you know, to make your different things well guess what i, I bet figured you can out do it now i could not do it but you know i bet i could do it now if i i don't have to try that sometime okay let's not overdo it sometimes i overdo it make it look you know a little bit different so there we go we've got our cake done there looks good mammy look at her little well, flower thank you. isn't that pretty she did so good yes. now if I, it was a sunflower we'd have it made wouldn't we mm -hmm. okay now let me go over here put my, wash my hands up a little bit you're gonna wash her hands and then i think she's got some stuff to share and then maddie's gonna show us how she wants to make her ice cream with her lemon ice cream i think mm -hmm. lemon ice cream is what she's gonna make it on. comes as a powder, the Dream Whip does, right? Like kind of like a jello oh, pudding it? mix. And then it's and then you just add water to it. That's what just oh, blows me away. That's good. Okay, are we ready to go in? Yep. Okay, now is Corey going to be here with Madison or? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. They got that. I'm going to take this and set it where. Well, I'll wait and put it in there. Where I'll put it in the fridge. Okay. I'll set this up for you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I never know if I get, y'all come on, let's go through. We're going into the dining room today. We haven't been in here in a long time, guys. Well, that's called, this is our workshop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding you. If you look down that way, you see where we've been working on the, on the books and stuff that we get out, our cookbooks and our aprons and stuff that we do our mailing. Okay, you know, I looked around and I saw several different things. 
that Chelsea, bring a potato back with you okay. when you come. Uh, speaking of potatoes, when I looked at this, I thought, what in the world is this? And I thought, hmm, it says Air City Potato Chipper. It's a potato chipper. Well, I thought, well, now how does it work? I thought it was a scale of some sort with this, but it adjusts the, um, adjusts the top to let it, I'll be stronger than I am to do it, uh, to let it uh, loose, you can loosen it up and bring it back and put your potato on it, and then it uh, cuts your potato. I'll have Bobby come in and show us how to do this, because I just realized I'm not strong enough to, let me see. I'm just a, a weak Lenina Chelsea. How you do it? You have to twist that, to twist it up so that we can turn this up here, sort of like the potato or the um, apple peeler. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. Will that bring? Will that come back? Let me see. Oh, hold on, guys. We got. We got. Oh, look at there. Chelsea got it. I tell you, she is just plumb full of surprises, isn't she? A seed. You going to give us? Yeah. Back it up there. And then we'll need us a little plate to put it on. Okay, I'll, go I'll show you. This is the neatest thing. I know when I go to the fair or to Old Timers Day or some festival like that, I like the ribbon potatoes where they make the potatoes so thin, you know, and then they deep fry them. Maybe I'm not sure this blade is going to be sharp. Okay. I, Bobby Ray cut one yesterday. Okay. And then put a little sour cream on it. You talk about good. We'll go ahead. Chelsea's gonna go ahead and get us a plate. I'll go out so for you. Well, there, there you are. God love him. He'll show us how to do it. I, I, I told him yesterday. I know I wasn't strong enough to do this, but I just have to share it with you. It's the neatest thing. Now, Bobby, could you do that with your potato peeler, your apple peeler? You think? He's a thinking. There. Look here. Can you see it, Chelsea? Mm -hmm. See, it's just ribbon potatoes. And then fry those in a Oh, mm -hmm. deep fry them, mm -hmm. talk about good. Put some cheese and some mm -hmm. sour cream on it. Look at that. That is a good deal there. And that was, how old is that, Bobby? I can't hear you, my hearing aids are clicked out. Oh, his hearing aids are not work, they're clicked out. You can't hear what I'm saying, Bobby. Could you do an apple peeler? Take an apple peeler and do the same thing? Do what? Can you do an apple peel with an apple peeler? Could you do the same thing? The, the apple peeler goes around the apple. Oh. This cuts everything. Oh, okay. The apple peeler has a blade that goes around the apple and comes out. Well, what year was this, you reckon? Yeah, it's 20s. Oh, okay. He said this is about 1920. So we can't tell you where to get one. <laughs> I bet they've got something that's like it though. They do for apples, yeah. But I mean, for these potatoes, look at this. Take them and dump them in, use some grease and let them get real crisp. Someone said they call them Texas potatoes. Oh, Texas potatoes. Well, they are delicious, I'll tell you that. I really like them. The only time I get them though is when I'm at the, you know, like I say, I go to festivals, not so much the fairs. I like going to the festivals. But that's a neat little gadget. Bobby Ray brought it home. So needless to say, once I get this all oiled up the rest of the way, then we'll be making us some of these, won't we, Chelsea? Mm -hmm. You know it. Put some cheese and sour cream on them. Oh, yeah. You know it. And then, as I look over here, Bobby Ray said to me, do you know what this is? I said, yeah, I do. Do you all know what this is? It's a perfect example of something that I keep telling the kids about. Um, it says B-A-B-E-E -E on it. And it said baby this way. Now that's the way they spelled Bailey, baby back in this time. I see if there's a date on this. This is probably, no, I don't see a date on it, but this is a baby bottle is what it is. It had the nipple that you just pull down, the, the rubber nipple that you just pull down over top of it. But y'all, I zoomed you in and I can't zoom you back out. <laughs> but they, they call it a baby bottle, but they didn't spell it B-A-B-Y. It was B-A-B-E-E. -E. And I've often told my kids, one thing that stands out with me is when I was younger, the spelling for gasoline was different than it is now. Yeah, I believe it was G-A-S-O-L-I-N-E. 
Is that the way this is spelled? And G-A-S-O-L-E-N-E, -E, one or the other. But it was the different, the spelling was made different, uh, you know, over the years. But this one is, you know, that's what they've done with this. But it's so a baby you, bottle. I thought that was just so cute. Now if I could look into finding the nipple that goes over top of it, why? I can just see this on the Three Stooges. You know how they carried on in that? I don't know if you have all ever seen the Three Stooges, but they were characters. But one of the, the guys would dress up as a baby and they had a bottle like this that they would give him. But uh, I just thought this was really neat. But Bobby likes to trick me and see if he can get me in not knowing what he's brought in to show me. So then I love this one. This is, I saw it and I thought, mm-hmm, I know what this is. This is a salt. I like the salts because I've got a big one in the kitchen that I just reach in and get my salt. Well, here's this one. It's much smaller, but you just open your lid and you, and the price is still on it that he gave for it to top it all off, isn't it? There, I ain't a bit proud, am I? Anyway, and you just reach in and get your salt and sprinkle it on your food and that. And uh, so I told him, I said, I'll keep this. So, because we've got, going to, got an outlet for a lot of it. So, uh, this was really cute, I thought. Now, the oh, it was design. A it was a company name like Playtex. Oh, really? Mm hmm Playtex? No. Huh? Baby. Uh-huh. That The way they spelled that oh, was a company really? name. Like Playtex mixed bottles. Baby was oh. a company name. Well, I'll be dog. I did not know that. Now, see, I've learned something new today. I like it when I learn something new. But anyway, this salt is really pretty, and I'm going to put it in my new kitchen right close to the stove where I can reach it so, to do my salt with it because I don't want to take my bigger one out of the the, uh, the other kitchen. And then, how many of you know what this is? If you look at it, Chelsea? It's an airplane. You know what this? <laughs> it's an airplane. Oh, okay. Isn't it? Uh, no, it's not an airplane, but it does look like one, doesn't it? It is. No, it's not. Oh. How many, what do you all think it is? Some well, of you may very well know what it is. It's an airplane. <laughs> Chelsea says it's an airplane. <laughs> it is a hood ornament for a 1955 Chevy Bel Air. And I got my license in a 1955 Chevy Bel Air. And uh, this is what was on the hood. It was a hood ornament. Um, like, there were lots of different ones. I remember the Pontiac. Remember it had the Chief uh, on it. There were just different ones. Different cars had hood ornaments that really stood out and you you knew what they were when you looked at that hood. We got someone that or, said a car decal, airplane, shoe sizer. <laughs> one of them, huh? It'd be one of them. See, uh, everyone's agreeing with me, it's an airplane. <laughs> no, it's really not. If you look up a 1955 Chevy <laughs> Bel Air, you'll see this on the hood. It's a hood ornament. Uh, on that, but isn't it pretty? But it does look like an airplane, but it is so pretty though. But I was going to say, Bobby Ray drives a dump truck. He has a dump truck and his has a wild duck on it from Smokey and the Bandit, I think. Mm -hmm. That duck with the cigar in its mouth, that's what his uh, hood ornament is on his truck and that's who's on his door with his company name and that. So I think that's pretty unique too. If a burgundy dump truck's coming down the road, I just look for the hood ornament and I know whether it's him or not. But that was one. But y'all, really, this is, it's not an airplane, although Chelsea swear and declare it is. I'm <laughs> thinking, what that's does an airplane good. have to do with anything? Yeah. Right <laughs> no, nope, here's the screws that even held it on. So huh. that's a really neat piece though, I think, like that. The other thing is too, we want to talk a little bit about um, uh, what we're going to be, what's going to be happening, and we want you to mark your calendar if you're in the area, or you know if, if you, you live around here, <laughs> or if you want to come to the area. As Chelsea says we're going to be at the 51st annual Old Timers Days in Xenia, Ohio, and um, we're going to be there with cast iron canning jars. Plus, Bobby's going to have a lot of his reminisce items there, and you could even go home with them. You know, he's going to bring them there and, and uh, he'll be selling them at that time. So a lot of different things that we have. But even, you know, if you don't want to take something home with you, just kind of come and walk around and reminisce through the or stuff. Or come chat with us. Yeah, 
And mm -hmm. yeah, Lord knows, and not every one of us likes to talk, right? So especially mammies. <laughs> there, see how they do me? Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, also want to remind you about our cast iron and candy jars uh, cookbook. If you haven't got one, you might want to uh, to uh, order one. We just sent a pretty big shipment out. This yeah, past we did. We yeah. of some uh, a few different things. Yeah, yeah, different things. Now, tell them how they can get these, Chelsea. Um, you can order it at castironncanningjars.com slash shop. Or you can write a check <clears throat> to Chelsea Owens. And that's at P.O. Box 157, Wilberforce, Ohio, 45384. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we've got a lot of 453s yeah. around here. And um, you can, if you did not catch that, you can come back to our page at the end and check out the top of the page, and it'll tell you where to send it, where you can go to order it. But we also have our aprons on there as well. Yeah, we do. And we're sending out some bloopers. I'm, I will be getting back to everyone. I sent a few invoices, and some people are sending checks. I know that we have posted that we had some bloopers of these and our dish towels. So I'm just waiting for I just love these payments things. before I go ahead and move to the next people. Yeah, we've got uh, our dish towels are just very pretty. I like them. Uh, only thing is, I can get them and I don't want to use them because I don't want them to get all stretched out of shape or whatever, You're you know. Funny. Get stuff on. I know, ain't I awful? But anyway. Do you want to tell them all those on it? Yeah, why don't you share that with okay. them? Okay, so we have a flyer for our old, the old timers that will be out. So they have um, live music, Civil War encampment, historical farm tractor and equipment displays, demonstrations, and they usually do demonstrations of like planing wood and. Failing hay and yeah, all kinds of different things. All the good old times. Um, primitive market, tractor pool, baking contest, an old town trade fair, flea market, antiques, and great food trucks. So yeah. that's when is it? It's at the end. Yeah. It's the it is mark your calendar for uh, oh, Friday the twenty third and twenty fourth <laughs> and the twenty fifth of uh, September. So yeah. it's out of ways. There's but, a Jeep show if you have a Jeep on Sunday. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and this is the first time we talked about That's why I'm a little bit rattled with it. But uh, we're looking forward to it. Well, we're looking forward to getting to chit-chat with some of our, our viewers, too. So we're excited <laughs> about that. Okay, Miss Chelsea, are we ready to go back to the kitchen? Ready to go back to the kitchen. Maddie, Maddie do her. Maddie's ready to show you guys how to make one of her recipes that she made up. She does a good job, too. <laughs> she's, been, she's been doing this since she's what, Joel, Chelsea? She's 11 now, since so she's, what, about 7? Yeah. Yeah, she's been cooking right along beside it. Oh, someone wants a picture of the flyer. I'll take a picture of it and post it um, after the show. She's ready. She's ready. Okay. She's nervous, but she's ready. Oh, she's gotten taller. She and her daddy. Yeah, she got taller on her stool. All right, there. welcome. There's Maddie. Have you want to wave? No. You want to tell them what oh, you you're doing? Tell, you got to tell them what you're doing. A little bit of ice cream. What? Just speak up so they can hear you. I'm making a little ice cream. Okay. What kind of ice cream are you putting in right there? You got to tell them all your ingredients. Vanilla. Vanilla ice cream? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how much ice cream do you use? There you go. You're good. Okay. Ice cream. She made her sign for her lemon ice cream as well. Oh, that is, that is very good. About how much lemon juice are you going to use? Um, like, like three spoons. Three spoons full? Is that teaspoons? I don't know. <laughs> she don't know. She eyeballs everything. So do I. Good job, Madison. I'm just stirring it up. Mm, this is sugar. Just regular sugar? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to put like that much. Okay. A little less than a spoonful. What 
people, someone said that they will be trying this for sure. They love lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Somebody about that, so they're gonna have two granddaughters we'll be sharing it with. All right. Now, Maddie, Maddie started out, how old was, were you, was she when she started her lemonade stand? Probably like five. She got, oh, it looks like we're doing powdered sugar, too. Yeah. yeah. That's when she was open. She was four. She was four years old when she started her lemonade stand. Okay. <laughs> and just mix it in. It. Oh, it looks good. Who wants to try it? There, Dad, you get to try it. Right. Corey gets to try it first. Mmm. Mm. You said it's good. You don't like fruit, though. Hmm? <laughs> you he likes lemon. Oh, no. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> good That's job, Maddie. Good job. Everyone said they're going to be trying it. Okay. <laughs> One She's a little shy. Just a little bit on the shy side. <laughs> But she um, does a very good job. All right, we're gonna serve up our dip and everything. Yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna have a little get in those spoons. Maddie's, Maddie's um, lemon ice cream. Okay. That's really good. Okay. Let me get let me get a play here to try this with you. Let's scoot you around here so they can see you. I'm a one dipper. How's that? Let me take the spoon out here. Oh, that looks so good. There's our corn dip we made. Mm-hmm. Did y'all see your onions just set it off? I know. They just gave it that little dab of color. A little bit of that little dab. Yeah. Now let me try it here. Oh, I forgot this has got the jalapenos in it. It's not that spicy. Woo! Yeah, well, that's what they tell me all the time to get me to try it. Mercy. Mmm. You like it? Chelsea? Is it too spicy? Mm-hmm. Oh, my bad. <laughs> and that's what you say to me. Is it really too spicy? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> it's just a little spicy. We want you to cool down with some no. strawberry stuff. I'm just kidding. <laughs> mm. Let me get... Pretty good? Yeah, it is. It is good. I love the corn. Corn is what great. You, what would you like? Uh, is this a dipper or a cutter? A cutter. And then a plate. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Let me cut through these. These Twinkies. How about oh, I put it in this bowl? People, it's not real, real hot, but woo! How about that bowl? That's one of my favorite bowls, Chelsea. When I eat out of. So there's. Excuse me. Most of the time. There's our dessert. You can Excuse see. Me. Look in there and you just cut it right down in it. You just cut right down in it and just dip it up and then it's delicious. Dorothy, I wasn't prepared to eat today and usually I am. Let me see how this goes. There we go. Good? Mm-hmm. Really good. Hold on, Jolene. And look how fast. It is very, very fast. It is. And easy to make. Yep. Then you just take it out with you and you've done your, it to your picnic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you've done a really good job. And Madison's, Madison top it off good. with the lemon ice cream. I'm glad I didn't make another lemon dessert because that's what I was going to do with a lemon dessert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maddie, you want to come and tell everybody bye? Just run in the way real quick. Okay. Thank you all very Thanks, much guys. for coming. And thank Miss Madison for put, making her ice cream. Uncle and Bobby, Bobby wants for, to show him his contribution. Oh, Lord. Look at his contribution. Let me turn this around. He's been smoking a brisket, y'all. He smoked us a brisket for... Look at that. But he didn't just smoke a brisket. He also smoked cream cheese and cheddar cheese, too. Oh, and it is delicious. Oh, that smells so good. We're going to have fresh green beans with it, mashed potatoes. We can... We're at Sunday dinner. I'll be so full I can't wobble <laughs> by the time that we get done. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, Miss Chelsea, we ready to call it an evening and get the rest of our dinner done? Okay. 
you come around here. You ain't smiling, girl. You get over here and smile. She, see what she did? She was busy. <laughs> he was busy. I'm just going to make her come right over here with me. All right, you guys. We're so glad that y'all came in to visit with us today. And we hope that you have a good week. And come back and see us next Sunday. Right, Chelsea? Right. All righty. Bye, Take guys. care. Bye-bye.